Jason Whiteley joins us now. He's the host of Inside Texas Politics and the co-host of the podcast Yolitics. And Jason, good to see you as always. You know, it dawned on me, Texans have one month left to register to vote. Looking ahead to the November election, where do the big races stand? Yeah, you know, Mike, good to see you again, too. It looks like the, the three big races in the state are all holding steady. The University of Houston and Texas Southern released a survey just a few days ago about this. Uh, governor Abbott is up by seven points over Beto O'Rourke. Dan Patrick, lieutenant governor, is up six points over Mike Collier. And in the race for attorney general, this one has always been tight, and this latest survey showed it's still tight. Ken Paxton only ahead by two to three points over Rochelle Garza. That's within the margin of error. This race is virtually tied here. She's definitely within striking distance. But remember, Democrats have 60 days or so to close this gap. It's still a Republican race to lose for all three of these. All right, and October 11th, the uh, last day, I believe, to register there. Now, even with what you just said, I think we're seeing some Republicans announcing their support for Democrats. I think some Democrats are endorsing Republicans. Any chance the voters follow suit here? Yeah, you know, Democrats certainly hope so, Mike. At the very least, this was disruptive, a disruptive week, rather, for Dan Patrick's campaign, Senator Kel Seliger, Seliger rather, from Amarillo, and uh, the Tarrant County judge from Fort Worth, Glenn Whitley, they're both Republicans. They both said they would back Dan Patrick, uh, not back Dan, Dan, Dan Patrick, rather, but back Democrat Mike Collier in the race uh, for lieutenant governor. The question is, how much does this actually benefit Collier in the race? We spoke with him this morning. He said it's a huge energy boost for his campaign. Patrick dismisses it. And Mike, as you mentioned, Patrick's also pointing out that he has a Democrat, the Senator Eddie Lucio Jr., just uh, south from Corpus there, who is uh, endorsing him. So this race is definitely going to get more attention the closer we get to the election. All right. We're going to keep an eye on all of that and count on you to keep us informed. But we're going to have to leave it there for now. Hey, folks, be sure to catch Inside Texas Politics. You can see it right here on KIII every Sunday morning at 5.